What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna make a video on Forescan and trying to change the daytime running lights on the Bronco, okay? So let's see if we can make some things happen here. Okay, so in the actual settings of the vehicle, you can click on vehicle. There's a bunch of options here for remote start, window wipers, lighting, daytime running lights. You might have that option, you might not. I don't know. I know certain areas you have to have daytime running lights. Uh, I don't believe Texas you have to, but yeah, on and off. You can turn that on and off. That sometimes gets gets annoying, but um, yeah, I'm gonna turn it on right now and see what it looks like. It's regular. Okay, so those are regular daytime running lights. You notice it's just the halo with the line, and it's bright, brighter than normal, right? That's regular daytime running. All right, we got our OBD Link EX right here. We're gonna plug it in here. As always, straight in. Then we're gonna use the USB plug to plug it into the computer. And turn the vehicle just on power mode, just on on. All right, so force scan is going to connect to the vehicle. That was fast, hit okay. All right, so now it's connected, it's ready. Okay, so we're gonna go into configurations and BCM. So first, let's see if we can um, look for it on the non-as built. We're gonna hit play. It's gonna read all the blocks. And let's go down to daytime running lights. So daytime running conditions, option one. Let's just read through these and see what it shows. There's option one, option two, okay. Let's try option B. Hit okay. Right. All right. Off. Give it a second. Back on. Hit OK. Let's stop just to make sure nothing happens here. Okay, so now let's test it out. Turn the vehicle on. Let's put the brake on. Do not try this at home. Okay, so option B is the same. No, I don't see no difference. Let me see if I can cover the sensor. Okay, so this is the daytime sensor. We're going to cover it up, pretend it's nighttime. It'll take it a second and... All right, lights turned on. Same thing, fog lights automatically turned on just based on my settings and the lower, dimmer halo width line and then the headlights turned on. Okay, we're gonna play again. We're gonna go back and move this back to option A. Oh, I didn't know you could double click on this. Hit OK and right. Yes. You go off. Vehicle back on. Hit OK. Okay. All right, so now let's see what these initial values are. It says edit, inoperative, disabled, uh -huh. personal one, inoperative, disabled, personal two. Yeah, I don't know what any of these are going to be. All the say the same, and then there's daytime auto lamps and vehicle. And 
then daytime running lights include park lamps. Uh, let's enable that, see what happens. Right? So we're going to enable the park lamps. Okay, so we enabled the park lamps, DRLs and park lamps. Let's see what happens. I don't know if it looks any different now. Probably not. But let's turn it on. All right, vehicle is on and in park. No lights on. So it's not that part, so now let's put it in drive. Uh, I don't remember if these were on before. Yeah, and these are on also. Hmm. So now these the regular park lights which is the rear and these turn on with that yeah I could see maybe some places might be beneficial to do that but I'm not gonna do it I'm putting it back Okay, I put it back and yeah, these turned off. That's interesting that the daytime running lights will own, will do that and you can make the back turn on also, but no, right now they're off. Wait, yeah, they're off. <laughs> All right, so daytime running lights are in the body control module. You can do the regular module or the as built. We tried the regular and it didn't work. There's not much in there except for making the park lights turn on also. So we're gonna go into the as built and we're gonna hit run or play down here. Read the warnings. Okay, we're gonna go into 726-4301. Gonna scroll down here. Come on. 4301. 726-4301. Double check, make sure we're on the right one. Okay, so then this is what controls left and right daytime running lights and the first two digits control the left last two digits control the right all right so right now we're at o2 okay so if you look at the chart o2 means it's in position three so we're going to see if we can make it o1 see what happens with the o1 one one seven twenty six four three oh one seven twenty six four three oh one just the first two digits change we're gonna write it okay read the warnings I'm gonna hit yes all right so everything just flashed off and on we turn the vehicle off give it a few seconds and then turn it back on and then we're going to hit OK over here. All right, so we have the parking brake on, and we're not going to put it in drive. We're going to put it in neutral just to make sure it doesn't move anywhere, but, but leave it in park and go check out the front. Okay, so that's position two. This is the daytime running lights for this position. So I'm going to try something just to make sure everything worked okay. So lights are on. The, the park lights are not on, front or back. Right, so we're good there. Okay. Wait. And sometimes these things just look like they're lit up, but they're not. But the front daytime running lights with the orange, man, that looks clean. Okay, so I'm gonna try something covering up the daytime thing here. See how that works. I'll try to be quick. See if we can make this work. Right. All right. Boom. See how quick this thing turns off. Okay. 
there it is. So it goes back to night. Those are nighttime driving lights. Okay, so we're going to go back to the module. We're going to hit run again. Read the warnings. We're going to go back to 4301. So we found out that the 0202 is the white halo with white uh, blinker. The 0101 is white halo with the orange blinker. And let's find out if there's any other options here. So let's do 03, 03, 426, 4301, 426, 4301. Let's write it. Read the warnings. Again, and turn the vehicle off. Give it a second. Turn it back on. Hit OK. We're going to hit stop. All right, let's check it out. Putting it in neutral. O3 looks the same to me. So three and one look the same to me. Some lights. We're going to cover up this thing, see what happens, make sure everything's fine. Cover up the sensor. Interesting. So with O3 at night, you got the orange with orange light with uh, halo, white halo. Interesting. Um, let's put the blinker on. Okay, so that doesn't work with the emergency lights because when I put the blinker on, it doesn't blink. Let's check the back. See, the back is blinking, both of them. But the front with setting 03, it doesn't blink. Okay, we're going to try 04 now. Okay, and I don't know if we have to actually stop and go every time. Actually, I'm going to try not to. See what happens. Okay, so 726.4301, we're going to make this 04, 04. And we're going to hit right. Again, read the warnings. Off. Give it a second. Back on. And hit OK. All right, we're trying it again. Parking brake is on. We're going to go to neutral. Come on. And let's see. So first we try it with just the day, actual daytime running lights. And again we got orange. I'm gonna try something real quick here. Let's put the emergency lights on. Let's see if these light up now. Oh look, they do. Okay, cool. Back. Also. Also. So we're good. Now. Okay, so now let's try night time and let's take these off see what it looks like just regular nighttime driving give it a second for the last turn on okay lights are on still kept the orange with the white and let's put the blinkers on again See if it works, and it doesn't work. I got nothing blinking in front. And the bank it is. 
Okay, we're back to 0101 still. I tried 11 and uh, 12 and 13 to see if the 1 itself did anything, but. Okay, blinkers on. Uh, it looks like it's working here. Daytime. So, daytime it actually works. Just leave it on, make it nighttime. See if it works now. As soon as the headlights turn on, you will find out if the blinkers are working or not. Oh, 101 might be the number. So let's try turning it off and back on, see if that's it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna leave it with 0101. Test that out for a few days, it's already been written, so we're just gonna hit stop. We can get back here to the vehicle itself and we're gonna hit disconnect down here. And we're good. Good to exit out. Alright guys, so what you think? So I tried the O2 was original, daytime, nighttime. Um, the O1 is uh, like this right now. O2 didn't work, O3 didn't work for me, and then anything past those actually O4 didn't work either. And then a five, six, seven, nothing else worked. And I tried it with the ones in the beginning as a prefix um, and uh, A in the beginning, but it gave me an error code every time. So this is going to be the way to go. And daytime looks just like that. I think it looks clean with the orange line on there. I like it. So tell me what you think. Do you like it? Do you want me to go back to the original? Leave it like this? Anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos I have also, right? Deuce.